Uh, okay, she did email it though. If you find an email. Yeah. I love her friends. I, gotta, I put hubby's clothes in here to remind me. I gotta pick up dry clean. <clears throat> Aloha. You guys have been seeing like box. I had Sensi box in here that I've been finding a ways to store. So I vacuumed yesterday, cleaned up a bit, which was really nice. I did really good cleaning yesterday. Um, it's seven now, but I've been up because I, I was editing. And <laughs> let me tell you, friends, I can't edit anymore at night because this 30-day challenge is actually really working. One, I'm staying so active that by 10 o'clock, like last night, last night it was 11, I was so out. I showered. We told Danica that she needed to sleep on her toddler bed right next to us and not sleep on our bed first, um, that she says okay. So I got so much good sleep. I went to bed at 11 and then woke up at 5.30. That's really good because I've been so tired. Right now my leg's cramping. I did wake up at 5.30 with Danielle. I didn't show you guys, but I forgot that this is my current situation. We could not find her breakfast bar. We couldn't find food. <laughs> oh. So, it's a mess. I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? Oh my goodness. Like, I can't do, I can't. I can't deal with this oh but it is what it is so I'm gonna pack um, Danny's lunch and hubby's lunch because Danny's going on a field trip what is it called Mohai Mohai which is in um like um, Seattle Seattle area and hubby is gonna go with her because I can't go because of Danica they don't allow like siblings which is really like sad because I used to volunteer I used to be room mom for Jonathan and Danielle with Danny, not so much because of Danica. And Danielle, not so much because of Danny. But Jonathan, like, definitely. He was my, he was my golden child. Like, I did everything with Danny, with Jonathan. Room mom, volunteered every day kind of thing. But because of the siblings, you can't bring, like, the little kids. Even though Danica's, like, so well-behaved. Um, so then I have hubby. I asked hubby to take a day off or to go volunteer at the school so that she has at least one parent in there. Huh. So they're gonna go have fun. I'm gonna stay in here because I also gotta pick up Danielle. So that, I can't go. Yes, Danny? Can I have the rest of the milk? Yeah, because I have another carton. And I'm gonna do my apple cider vinegar shot and hot water because I, um, I didn't do that yesterday. I don't remember doing it yesterday because I was so in a hurry to, to leave for Lola to make sure I was back in time. So let me prep up Danny. Oh, Danny, I have a present for your school bus driver. So let Danny, me I said, close your eyes. Okay, this is for your bus driver. Ooh, Isn't so that cute. cute? Yeah, so that's for your bus driver. Because today is the last day that you're going to see her. Tomorrow I drop you off. And then, oh, but you're taking the bus home tomorrow. But just in case. Um, but so that she'll already have it because uh, Easter, Easter is Sunday. I'm going to pack their lunch. I'm going to make sandwiches. And then um, she's going to go see the bus. I'm gonna sneeze though. Hold on. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. That's you. Wait, it's coming. Look at the light. No, it's not coming. Okay. So, so Danny, Danny, I um, saw hubby pouring in his apple cider vinegar, and then Danny goes, um, "I'm not gonna tell you what it looks like." And we're like, "It looks like pee." He goes, "She goes, yeah." And then what else? It smells like pee too. It smells like pee. Believe me, it tastes like pee. <laughs> like I would like know. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume it tastes like pee because it's pretty toxic. Okay. Oh, it smells so bad. It's not bad. All right, can you rinse it for me? Sure. I should what? You should film us trying to find it. Oh, okay, like you mean what I'm doing now? Okay, I'm looking for my Trader Joe's oatmeal. I know. It's in a, it's one of these bins. Like, I think it's in a bin. It's, oh, yeah. It'd be, in, it'd be in one of your green bins. Green Is that bin. this one? No, no, that's a sweet one. I need the one that's fat-free because I'm already fat. Oh, okay, get that one. I can't find it. Um, 
Um, which one does Danica like? Um, she likes the brown sugar. Okay, I'll have the apples. Oh, you're gonna have that? I can't find anything. Get me a uh, spoon. All right, so I have my quick cook, quick cook steel cut oats from Trader Jones. Trader Jones, Trader Joe's. <laughs> and I want a quarter of a cup, but I can't find my quarter of a cup, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. That, and then my almond milk mix with water. You know, I think I'm just gonna add water. Danny, do me a favor, can you put water? Just a, a full cup full of that. Follow Danny. And then later on I'll add, um, cause it'll cook for longer than the regular. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yep. Dump the whole thing in there and then I'll cook it in the microwave cause it'll, it'll take longer than the Quaker Oats. Uh, quick cook and So I like my oatmeal like really cooked, like soft, super soft. Oh, where's my spoon? No. I go, I'm going to tell them about you. No. So Miss Mary is here. So she had oatmeal too, which I'm like, oh, pretty cool. And But she put water in a, you want almond milk or water? She goes, coffee. She put coffee in her oatmeal. Not cool. See, we're all different in our own ways. But, uh, oh wait, and now I gotta get a different spoon. But, ow. Hey, okay, I didn't tell you, but after you left, I went to the gym with, um, well, Jacob went to Hula, yeah. and then I went to the gym. I did 20, like by the time I went to bed, I almost did 22,000 steps. High five. I know. Cool. I went to work out. I did the, the sauna. I mean, I, I didn't do the sauna. I did the treadmill, and then I did the machines that Jacob told me to do. Hold on. I got hair on my sleeve that's like stuck in there. This? Huh? Are you this? What? Are you this? I'm not pregnant. No, I said, are you recording this? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> She doesn't like to be on camera, so I just, I just record her voice. Oh, Java, hold on. So, okay. I put, I like to use this and then the flaxseed, but then I just realized that the thing said, because I was like looking at calories, which I don't usually look at calories. That's, that's why I am in my situation, but it says refrigerate after opening. Well, good thing I just opened this like day what? Day one? Because otherwise it'd go bad. So now i got to refrigerate it along with the flaxseed one. Oh, Java, I'm coming. We're going to um, scrub down my pantry and then paint it. This is our weather for the day. I've got my lilacs and i got my hydrangeas. It's budding, but um, pretty cold. I think it's supposed to be 40, 45 today or yeah, 45. So we're going to stay indoors. I've got my long sleeve. And I got my face on just a little bit, but um, I told you guys I bought that Boing concealer. It makes such a big difference. You can't really tell, but it makes a big difference to me. Um, using the Boing concealer uh, compared to using like a drugstore concealer. I don't know. I like the Boing concealer. If you guys have a very good makeup concealer, except for the Monistat. Remember I told you guys that two vlogs ago? the the girl uses it you know what she uses it as a primer but she also uses it as a moisturizer because I've been watching her blog so she's like yeah I added more moisturizer and I added more of the the monostat cream so I'm not gonna go that route but I am using the boing I love the boing um, what do you call that primer we're gonna paint we're gonna eat breakfast first coffee and then we're gonna get to work oh. all right friends i dropped off danny at hula and like i said instead of just waiting in the car or walking around costco shopping or other places like target target is my frenemy because i hate target but i love target Whew. i like how they did this yard with the this is what I was thinking of doing for our front yard. And ooh, they did a rose garden. That's really pretty. Okay. So, um, I'm still not comfortable having the camera on, like, right, like this. 
when I'm walking around. But um, <clears throat> I'm getting, I'm trying to get used to it. So I didn't wear my my Apple Watch today, so I didn't monitor my steps, um, which kind of kind of sucks because then I don't know like my progress for the day, even though I did so good yesterday. But like I said, now that I'm more conscious living, being more aware, instead of just waiting in the car and being in my phone or on my phone and going through Instagram or I hardly go Facebook, but uh, Pinterest, I'm notorious for that. And, um, or walking around spending money at the stores. I'm just gonna walk. I am not prepared today though, because I wanted to jog. Maybe I'll still try, but I do have a lot of things dangling like my phone, this, and you guys. Um, but I can hop, but <clears throat> I don't have the right bra or the right undies. And in order to like jog, you gotta have the right equipment. Because if you don't have the right equipment, it won't look pretty. So I'm just gonna walk around the neighborhood here and see what they got. Look how pretty this tree is. This is why I say about spring. Look at that. Ooh, look, very pretty. Ah, friends, that is my most favorite tree. Most favorite tree here. That's a magnolia. And I know I just said I'm like that. It's a wasted magnolia tree surrounded by, it's just too much. Like there's the sticker bushes. Those are blackberry bushes. We call them sticker bushes. That's a camellia. I have those. I have a red and a white one. But this is a huge, huge magnolia tree and it will be so beautiful. I'm going to come back here in about two weeks, two weeks and show you guys how beautiful this, this is when it's blooming. But um, that's what I love about it here at Pacific Northwest. Look at all those trees everywhere. Um, I love to just walk around the neighborhood. Hopefully I don't get um, kidnapped or Kidnap or oh street ends. Okay, hopefully I don't get kidnapped or taken or snatch. We don't want that. It just reminds me so much of the Philippines, all these greeneries and like Hawaii and Guam, the islands. Oh, oh what's that over there? Abandoned building. It looks like. Oh no, school. What is that? Authorized vehicles only. Yeah, it looks like a school. A gym or a school? That looks like the gym. It's spring. I'm starting to see. Um, I'm starting to see people do their yard because it is still cold. It's like right now probably 40s, between 46 to 48. But people are starting to put their mulches. Oh my gosh! Look at that beautiful tree. Beautiful. Oh gosh, I hope I remember my way back because I made a left turn and a left turn. Okay, I'm gonna go up that hill and then make my way back. I'm gonna show you guys. Like I told you um, other previous vlogs of, um, a couple days ago, I said that um, the beautiful thing about the Pacific Northwest is there's always these little crooks and crannies of uh, hiking trails. Sometimes man-made, sometimes city-made, or when I say man-made, it's like, you know, like the neighbors would do it. Uh, look, that's one of them. And uh, I'm not brave enough to venture out where it doesn't say trail, because one, I'm scared of the moo, moo Everybody knows that I'm scared of the moo, moo Whenever hubby goes on a business trip, I don't go to bed until four. That's when Jonathan wakes up, or Danielle wakes up, and then I go to bed. Whew. Alarm set, camera set, all that stuff. I got a baseball bat. <sighs> but still, I'm scared of the moo, moo Little, like, creak noise. I'm like, oh my god. <sighs> I cannot watch a scary movie for the life of me. I will die. If I see a snake, I will die. <sighs> if I see a moo, moo I will die. Literally, I will die. Before I even get scared, before a moo, -moo ever has a chance to say boo, I'll die. I'm not, I'm not joking, I'm not lying. I'm not over exaggerating, I will die. Oh, I think that's the one. Ooh, I will die. 
Um, so I've been walking for like 15 minutes. I still have another 30 minutes or so, but I do gotta make my way back. So I'm gonna do another 15 minutes this way so I can head out that way um, in perfect timing. And this is conscious living, being aware of your day. Okay, friends, you guys should have seen my face. I'm like, where do I go? Where do I go? Good thing I showed you guys about that magnolia tree. So now I know to go this way. My gosh, I'm gonna die out here. Whew. See, good thing, good thing I remembered the camellia and that magnolia tree. So then I knew how to go this way. Literally, I stop and I'm like, which way do I go? Excuse the face. Oh, look, another pretty tree. See? And that's such a cute trailer. But see how pretty the trees are? Look how pretty. Look at that. Very pretty. I love looking at the, um, the scenery here during the springtime. It's my most favorite season, spring over here, because that's when everything starts blooming. You see all the pretty flowers. I think I just spit on myself. Was that raindrop? Maybe it was just me. And um, everything starts to look so pretty. Whew. And all the, um, the houses, the homes, they're all so unique in their own way. Not like California where I'm used to. Cookie cutter homes everywhere you turn, even though you in, like when you're going for a walk, first of all, when you go for a walk, there's no mature trees. There's just baby trees. They all look the same. But over here, everybody has different trees. Uh, you know, some of them are all the same, but still, they're all different. Like this, look at this. What is that? Oh, some sort of a red berry. I wanted to get one of those. Oh, I wanted to get one of those, but so pretty. All right. Look how bare this tree is. And when I keep walking this route, I'm gonna show you guys how beautiful this blooms. Whew. All right, friends, I'm gonna end it here for the day. Um, they, the family had a McDonald's, I did not. Not even a single bite. I'm so proud of myself. I have not been editing for two nights now, which is good. That means I'm getting a good night's sleep. So I'm not staying up in the middle of the night anymore. So that means whatever I'm doing is actually working out because my conscious living challenge is one, allowing me to be so active during the day that I get so tired at night that I get a full night's sleep. All right, and I'm aware of what I'm eating. All right, friends, mahalo. See you tomorrow.